Welcome people of the World Wide Web. So it's Cypher Sigma here, it's Wednesday, and it's not, obviously as the title would say, it's not another look what I'm watching. This is a payday pickup. So unfortunately I was a little late to pickups. Um, I normally get paid near the end of the month, but not quite, and I know we're quite early into December now. Um, so I managed to go out and about. Um, I went into HMV, didn't find anything there. Went into CX and stuff, so we got some footage. So here we are in CEX. So they've decided to have a little switch around. So the 4Ks are now on the first area, not the Blu-rays. So there's Bullet Train. I do want to pick that one up. Um, fifth Element, obviously I quite like this front cover. I think this is very similar to the special edition that was released recently that AJ picked up. Um, about £15, maybe a little rich for my blood at this time. There's obviously Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee. Uh, the Evil Dead, good movie from back in the day. As you see, there's still quite a lot of horror that seems to crop up in my um, CX. Um, someone obviously must have got rid of a load of their collection, or it is quite a good seller. So as we are going through Toy Story there, um, Beverly Hills got my load of Phantasm, I know there was a lot, a lot of special features, I think AJ said on that one, so I've not picked that one up. Oh, as I almost throw that one off the shelf. Here we are, so some sort of horror movie, never seen that one before, thought I'd take a look. Uh, the Core, I did like that movie. Um, it was Dune, The Green Mile, Goodfellas. Two fairly good movies, but I say it's... It, I don't want to kind of duplicate too many movies. I will update the what movies I really, really like. Inception was there, but I say maybe I'm a little bit tight. Uh, the Running Man, I love this movie. 20 quid. As I say, 19.99. how much someone paid for it, and then they're charging 20 quid. It's gone up by a penny. Uh, Parasite, really, really like this movie. Uh, don't own it, so I do need to pick it up, but not feeling that today. And as we go through, there is Shazam, and that's Superman, Unforgiven, Violet Knight. What have we found here? Wayne's World. Loved it back in the day. Probably not the great example. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And then we move along to the Blu rays. So 22 Bullets was that? John Reno. From Leon fame. I say, when you have as many as my I have, it's really hard to find ones that you interested in that you don't own. I say they're more horror layer and muck. Never heard of that one. And there we have Avatar, a bit of Doctor Who turn up, Dungeons and Dragons. Let's just see, I'm trying to scan through it and remember if I got. There we go, Dead Rising. Uh, I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, it's quite cheap, I think 250 Dune, I do want to get it, it's a shame that part 2 has been delayed, but I'll probably wait until 1 and 2 come out as a set, and that'll probably be the cheaper way to buy them. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow, I do need, I think I have all of that, or I'm missing the last season, so it's something for me to look out for. Infinity Pool, I know Ian, Ian the Ramblings, he, he recommends that, I've got I, that queued up on a streaming site that I watch. Um, called Raccoon 10, so when I watch that, if I like it, I would buy it, but um, my name is Bruce, obviously that was a recently watched that, I know it's a conversation between me and um, AJ. Mortal Kombat, obviously that was gifted to me, um, as you see on the other channel, you see I got a big, big haul from um, Roy, Robert Fett and the Bounty Bunch, that was very nice of him. Uh, some nice anime. You'll see me focus a bit more on anime. So basically what I'm trying to highlight here when I pull a lot out, just to give you an idea of what prices are, you'll see that series are like 20, 30 quid. Um, unfortunately, you know, CX prices are normally cheaper than a lot of other places, but anime unfortunately still commands quite a high price. Um, apologies for the poor skip there. Someone decided to talk to me as I was filming. So there we go along. Um, Obviously, Barbie, uh, Blood Rage, never heard it. I say pick these ones out. I mean, if they're fairly cheap and look interesting, Batwoman, I do need to get season two and three. I'll get around to that at some point. Um, and then we have The Flash, 
Firefly there. I, I maybe want to update that. I do have it on DVD. Um, I do like Firefly. It's been a while since I've seen it. Elemental. I didn't think that was a bad film from Disney. A bit of Indiana Jones at the bottom there. John Wick. And John Wick's I think I don't have free um but find it and uh, jigsaw jigsaw i do need um, jigsaw and spiral are the two saw films i don't own and did really enjoy the latest one there's joyride that was quite a funny movie um not as good as um the previous one that they did um there's the nikita series i've been told it's really good but i've got season one but I haven't watched it yet and we've got resident evil renfield R robocop Um, I think I've got a free disc DVD there. So, as we are tricking along, we've got the Crow, Crimson Peak, a few more anime in there, and obviously Clockwise, never even heard of that with John Cleese. Um, Chitty Chitty Bag Bag, one of my wife's favourite movies. So, always a Code Geass. So, this I think is one of the movies too. I think there's a few, um, but they're still fairly expensive on Blu ray. Um, sorry, I'm zooming in. You couldn't even see what that was. Apologies. I think it was some scantily clad women in a movie. So probably not that great acting. I can only assume. The Game. Michael Douglas. I quite liked that movie. Got it on Blu-ray. Killer Joe. Really, really good movie. Very harsh in places. Um, Matthew McConaughey as the lead in that one. Knock at the Cabin, yeah, very disappointing movie from that. I'll wait till it's really cheap to possibly pick that up. Um, you know, Detective Pikachu there. Pacific Rim, 3D. We've got Oppenheimer. One Piece, so this is another anime series. I'm not really, I've got the first two seasons, I've not really watched it. It's the longest one in anime, it takes a lot of time to into it. Skinamakia, I think that was. Here you go, some more anime stuff. Still quite expensive on Blu-ray. Um, but they do have some that are quite cheap, so you got to keep looking out for them if anime is your cup of tea. Um, there we go, we're on to the last few letters. Yellowstone, has anybody seen that? I have heard that rated quite well. Winnie the Pooh, yeah, horror movie. I, I, I do love um, Winnie the Pooh quite a lot. Weird Science, do love that movie from back in the day. Vampire Diaries, The Three Musketeers there, the first one, I think I do pick it up, I do have it, I've got it bought for me for my birthday and the second part comes out the 15th, so I look forward to seeing that at the cinema, I think there was Transformers Rise of the Beast there on the shelf below that I've overlooked, uh, and then we are going for a few more, Talk To Me, I watched that on Netflix, I was a bit disappointed in that personally, Teen Titans, any Teen Titans fans out there, um, I've never really got into it, and then the last little bit is this is the anime section. So you see this is what prices are like of series and movies that you have. Um, yeah, the series can be really expensive. So I say I try to keep quite cheap down, but you can see that uh, like 10 quid-ish I think is reasonable and the same for movies. Um, I do need to get the last few series of Dragon Ball Z. Death Note, not the biggest fan of my neighbour Totoro, Totoro. Really good series. And there's lots of I say Dragon Ball One Piece and the Return stuff there, the ones you normally see. Hellboy there, AJ picked up recently. Your name, a really good movie. And there we go, so quite interesting stuff to see. Apologies, there is a little bit of cut there. That was somebody decided to start talking to me as I was filming, as you do. Um, but yeah, so what did I pick up? So I didn't pick up too much. Um, so first things first, on the Blu-ray hunt was Dead Rising Watchtower. Um, I think I've seen this. Um, I'm surprised I didn't have it in the collection. It's only 250. I do like... Um, Zombie movies and stuff. Um, I don't think I've... I may have seen this or I can't remember. There's so many zombie stuff I've seen recently. But this was one. So yeah, only 250 Pick it up at Blu-ray. So good to have that. Uh, the only 4K I picked up. Uh, updated Fast and Furious. It's £3. 
I think I paid more for the DVD, so I was like, for 4K, um, it, obviously it's 4K and Blu-ray, so I was like, I can upgrade it and chuck the other one in probably a bin or set it for like a pound or something, so can't go wrong there. Um, so then we have the movie Rent, so I was just basically scanning the shelves to come across this, so um, I'm a big fan of Andrew Garfield, and he did a... Um, musical a year or two ago called Tick Tick Boom. Um, it's based on the life of the director of this film, uh, or not this film, this uh, Broadway musical stage show, whatever. I've not seen it, heard anything of it. Didn't even realize they made it into a movie. So that's why I've got it. I don't know what it's like. It's two hours and nine minutes. I'm interested in the watch it and obviously have it to see what it's all about. Um, next one was one I come across was on kind of, I don't know, your one, all my DVDs are upstairs and Blu-rays and stuff and they pile stuff on the side and I come across and saw this, so this was Kramer versus Kramer for a pound. Um, I I may have seen this film back when I was a lot, lot younger. I can't recall it at all, I don't have it for a pound. You can't really go wrong there. And then the final one, so I went up to the desk, I was paying, um, and as I do, I kind of scan through all the stuff on the back, you know, the box sets and limited editions and stuff, and I had a lot of steelbooks, and I asked them to pull this steelbook out, which was of the Disney movie Red, um, turning red even, not red. Um, so this is the one there. It was sealed, as you can see. It doesn't have a price on it either, so you picked it up, the person scat like was like here it is i looked over it doesn't like it's got any damage it's sealed i was like oh i actually quite like this movie um yeah i said can you tell me how much it is he scanned it in he went eight pound bang on i was like eight pound for a steel book i think when i've looked online when i got home i think the cheapest i found it is 12 to 15 pound on ebay in this condition so the fact it's seven quid cheaper um you know i don't see any of the stores i can't seem to see sale it uh sell it even so a nice little pickup there's only um five pickup obviously it's after my birthday and anniversary and obviously we've got christmas so i'm trying not to buy too much um and obviously i will be going in through a purge soon as well hopefully but yeah anyway that has been my pickups and my little payday pickup video hope you've enjoyed it have you seen any movies i've picked up please let me know in the comments below otherwise like comment subscribe do all the things you want to do keep warm in this cold time and i'll see you in the next one